Harriet Tubman was born into slavery in 1820. Her birth name was Arminta. When she was five, she was rented to her neighbors. When she was 15, she got a head injury from trying to protect another slave. In 1844, she got married and years later started the Underground Railroad. Harriet Tubman was the woman who started the Underground Railroad. She got the slaves through without anybody knowing. However, it was not really underground. Tubman was a great woman and got all of her slaves through the south up to the north without getting caught. When the fugitive slave law took place, she took them all the way to Canada. When she became free, she went back and helped her family and friends escape and decided to become a conductor to help more slaves become free. Solomon was born free. He was born in New York in 1808. While he was young and free, he helped his dad on the farm. Solomon was severely beaten and also threatened when he was a slave. Northup was one of many free black men that was captured because of the fugitive slave law. He was nearly beaten to death. When Northam was free again, he rejoined his wife and children and decided to lecture people on slavery to audience throughout the northeastern U.S. for years and years. Many slaves worked on plantations and fields. They worked from sunrise to sunset, and during harvest, they worked 18 hours a day, and if they disobeyed, they would get beaten. The slaves had to work 18 hours. In those 18 hours, they mostly picked cotton. They had to pick 250 pounds of cotton a day. Their fingers would get huge calluses because they had to get all the cotton off the seeds. Slaves sang songs while they were working on plantations and even used them to send messages. When slaves had to communicate to each other secretly, they usually used songs. Sometimes they used songs to direct each other to the north. The Underground Railroad was not literally underground or a railroad. It consisted of meeting points, secret routes, transportation, and safe houses. It was called the Underground Railroad because it had the sense of underground resistance and railroad because of the use of rail terminology in the code. Conductors ultimately controlled the Underground Railroad. They moved the runaways from station to station and are the ones that made it possible. Sometimes the conductors had to take extreme measures and pretended to be slaves just to enter them plantations and help us. People would make posters to advertise slaves. They would even offer a money price for it. They made these for people to find runaway slaves and for buying or renting them. The slave law made it so that slaves had to go all the way to Canada. The slave owners could just give a rough description of a slave and many could be brought back. This made it so free blacks in the north could fit the description and be kept. Slaves were not considered citizens in America. Black people had no legal rights in this country. White controlled the politics and used them to keep them as slaves.